example, we want to say, how long will it take for a plank of plain plywood, 1.3 centimeters thick, initially at room temperature, which we're going to say is 298 Kelvin. If, if you don't get a ambient temperature in this class, it's reasonable to assume 298 Kelvin. How long will it take for the wood to ignite under a 20 kilowatt per meter squared incident heat flux? If we look at table 11.2 from the book, the critical heat flux is 16 kilowatts per meter squared, so uh, we know that this heat flux should provide an, an auto ignition. Our temperature ignition is 390C. Looking at table 11.6. Nice. I need to include these in your, let me make a note for myself, for your uh, reference tables. And 11.2 and 11.6. Noted. Alright, if your ignition temperature is 390C, K is 0.14 watts per meter Kelvin, density is Uh, 640 kilograms per meter cubed and specific heat is 2850 joules per kilogram Kelvin. How long will it take to ignite? Right. I feel like students appreciate it when I work these problems out with them. It gives you more, sort of more time to write it down and it shows you how I work the problem if I was given the problem as well. So first we write we're looking for our ignition temperature for a thick material. So this equation is equal to our C times K rho C P times our temperature ignition minus our temperature initial is our ambient temperature divided by our heat flux and that term is squared quantity squared so for C we can say C is equal to two thirds let's assume some sort of heat loss K is equal to 0.14 watts per meter Kelvin. Now we said we were going to use these in terms of kilowatts. There's a thousand watts per one kilowatt. So this is going to be 1.4 times 10 to the negative fourth. Oops. Kilowatts per meter Kelvin. And said rho is equal to 640 kilograms per meter cube. Specific heat is equal to 2850 joules per kilogram Kelvin. And we said we wanted this in terms of kilojoules. So we'll say we have a thousand joules for every one kilojoule. So that's equal to 2.85 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. We know our ignition temperature is equal to 390 degrees C. We know our initial temperature is equal to 298 Kelvin. So since C and Kelvin are not the same, we should convert this to Kelvin. So that's plus 273 is equal to 390 plus 273, 663 Kelvin. I find it useful to write out all of the input variables for equation so q dot double prime is equal to 20 kilowatts per meter squared 
Now we can plug all this in. We can say our time, ignition, here is thick material, is equal to two thirds times 1.4 times 10 to the negative fourth kilowatts per meter kelvin times 640 kilograms per meter cubed times 2.85 kilojoules per kilogram kelvin multiplied by quantity of 663 kelvin minus 298 kelvin divided by 200 kilowatts per meter squared no, 20, 20 kilowatts meter squared squared so we can plug that in our calculator 3 divided by 3 times 1.4 times 10 to the 4th times 640 times 2.85 times parentheses parentheses 663 minus 298 close parentheses divided by 20 close quantity parentheses up to up raised to the second power and so that is equal to 56.7 seconds. So, we have our answer here, and as we've seen in this lecture series before, we want to ask the question, is this reasonable? Okay, so we say, we said, the critical ignition, our critical heat flux was 16 kilowatts per meter squared. So basically, if you get if you were to impinge the wood that we're talking about with 16 kilowatts per meter squared, it would, it would ignite eventually, but it would take a very long time. So that's what the critical heat flux means. Is it, will, it will eventually ignite, but it takes a long time. So we're above that. We're at 20 kilowatts. So we know this is basically a minute. And a minute is not very short it's not on the order of microseconds so if we're on the order of microseconds i would think we'd be on the wrong on the wrong path we're not talking about hours if it was hours we might be a little bit long so 20 20 kilowatts if you've ever run a cone test it usually takes about around a minute to ignite wood so i'm going to say is this reasonable yes based on some preliminary mathematic comparison and my own experience